Good morning, lovely souls. Welcome to Sip and Share today in what I call my second home, the gym. It is water in here. Come on, I'm working out before someone makes a comment and says, is it water she's sipping on? So today, let's talk about what multiple sclerosis is. Yesterday, I shared with you that March in the UK is Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month. So today, we will talk about what it is. Or let's say what it is and more for what it is for me because everyone that has multiple sclerosis um, deals with it differently because it affects them differently. I was trying to think of the most simplest way of explaining it and the best way of saying it, it's like a short fuse or I know what just came to me. You know when you have a USB wire to charge your smartphone, your tablets, our gadgets nowadays, everything is charged by a USB. And the coating of the wire starts to split. And then you're now at risk at whether your appliance is going to charge um, because the inside of the coating, all those little wires in there are all exposed. That is the simplest way of explaining multiple sclerosis in my body. Uh, my body reacts like a short fuse blown fuse, short fuse, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I make up phrases all the time. Um, so, for instance, let's give you an example. When my brain is telling my legs to walk, like I'm doing now on this treadmill machine, the information has to travel from up here to my legs and as we all know there's many pathways in our body to go from here to the bottom part and the information travels through cells in our body and we have thousands of cells in our body so Imagine the pathway, it starts off here in the brain, in the major cell. And the information needs to travel from cell to cell to cell through the body all the way to get to your legs. Now, not all my cells have been damaged by multiple sclerosis, just some of them. So the information has a bit of a journey, has some hurdles along the way to get to where it needs to get to. And um, because some of the cells have been damaged, remember, the coating on the wire is exposing all the internals. It's not a smooth path. So the reason why I use my legs I'm patting them, you can't see it on the camera, but I am patting them right now. The reason why I talk about my legs is that was one of my major issues, and still is 12 years on. Yeah, it's interesting. But my cells that, I guess, talk to my legs, my legs, get them moving, get them functioning, have been damaged. So I walk like I'm drunk even when I'm sober. Remember, it's water in the bottle. 
but I walk like I'm drunk because my balance is uneasy. And my left leg, my camera's flipped around, so it might look like I'm talking about my right leg, but it is my left leg I'm patting. My left leg has been damaged more than my right leg. So my right leg takes a step a lot stronger than my left leg. So I lead with my right and follow through with my left. And that's why I can sway when I walk. That's why I struggle to place my foot where I actually want it to be. Sometimes it does its own thing. And um, that's my damage, that's my journey, I guess, with multiple sclerosis. That was the major thing at first. So many other things um, have been affected in my body. Um, I could list them, we'll be here for days, it feels like. But there's a lot of things that have been affected, a lot of things that I had hurdles with, had troubles with, fought along the way with, and some things are still the same from day one, and other things, I don't like saying I've seen improvement, because according to the experts, there is no cure for multiple sclerosis yet. Uh, there's things that benefit your pathway and we'll talk about that another day um, but there is no cure yet so I'll say I've learnt to manage them better I've learnt to deal with them better I've learnt to change the way I do things to make it more capable for me um, so yeah, things have changed along the last 12, 13 years. Whether you want to count the year that I was undiagnosed <laughs> or whether not. But yeah, it's been an interesting journey. So let's have a recap. What would you say if someone said, what is multiple sclerosis? Pop in the comments box and let me know how you would describe it. Would you use what I say, it's a short fuse? Uh, well, like a short fuse? Or would you say that it's that the information in the body has a hurdle to get from one spot to another spot? Or would you actually do some research and come up with your own analysis, your own way of describing it? And the reason why I answer that is we don't all think the same. And when I say all, not even just us with multiple sclerosis, that's another conversation that we'll have another day. That whole process is such a journey. Um, but us humans, people in general, we don't all think the same. So you might actually come out with another explanation that explains it a lot better. But it's a lot clearer, it's a lot more precise because I'm not very precise when I talk. I ramble and ramble and drift on and come up with all sorts of crazy. <laughs> I just laugh at myself like I'm doing right now. So yeah, it would be very interesting to see your thoughts and your comments on how I described it and whether that would be simple enough to share with a young child if they ask, what is it? Maybe that's the way I should think about it. What's the best way to explain to a young person what multiple sclerosis is. Asking me, what, what's the phrase? Something for four? Something to think about? Oh, I told you. I never know. 
Well, I am going to uh, pick up my pace on this machine now. And I can't pick up my pace, pace and continue talking to you. I'll be out of breath in like a minute. <laughs> I like to think um, I'm healthier than I am sometimes. <laughs> but really, isn't it? I'm not. <laughs> so yes, bye for now. Love from me. And see you all, hopefully tomorrow, with a new Sip and Share with MS Warrior Alliance.